Okay, this is a normal ultrasonic cleaner, and I was wondering if uh, if this is filled with polishing gel, if it's going to be able to polish, for example, some coins or something like that, the vibration to be able to polish the material. Let's check it out. I'm going to add this here. Turn it on. Okay, let's put to the edge. And let's cover. Okay, I'm going to leave it for for 10 minutes, and after that, let's see what happens. Okay, after around 10 minutes have passed here, let's see what's going on. You see that the there's a little bit of steam here over the, the the ultrasonic cleaner and it's because the when you put this polishing gel on the ultrasonic cleaner it gets like all the energy from the ultrasound because it's a little it's like there is too much friction between the between the compounds in the gel it's not like water water flows very easily but with this type of things it gets a lot of energy from the ultrasound okay let's see if it's not too hot to take it Okay, I have this here, and it's going to be easier because I think it's hot. Okay, let's check it out. But looks good from here. I don't want to use a paper because if we use a paper, we can polish the coin. And we will never see the real effect of the ultrasonic cleaning, polishing. Okay, let's see this. Okay, it's starting to be clear that something happened in the coin. At least, at least on the borders, it looks better. I'm going to completely remove with my finger. Okay, on this side it's very very good, it's very 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 shiny, nothing comparable with before. And on this side it's starting to be, to be polished. Maybe, maybe only on the borders, on the edges. Okay, I'm cleaning it completely. See now, yeah, now it's fully cleaning, fully clean. I'm going to dry it. Just one moment. Okay. Yeah, definitely the coin started being like this, and yeah, I see some improvement here. Yeah, it's way better, way way better. And I was thinking about uh, it took around ten minutes to go from this on the right, this coin on the right, to this already polished coin on the left. I would like to to be able to do this to do this uh, process under pressure. Because I suspect that if this process is made under pressure, the the polishing gel will like remove all the first layer of the material faster, just because of the pressure. It will be like if if we are at only one atmosphere of pressure, the polishing gel is just just vibrating around. But if, for example, this process is made at a hundred mm, atmospheres around 1000 psi you mind if it's possible if we build a device or something like that the policing yield will be like really 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 scratching the surface and maybe it will take way less time to polish the coins and even being a very good method for policing because it's able to enter all the small holes all the 
places that is almost impossible to enter if you try to polish with paper or something like that with a cloth. Um, yeah, it's an alternative method maybe to the electropolishing because here there is not so much material missing. Um, yeah, the result is very good. Okay, bye bye.